I'm sorry, I'm really emotional. I just, Emotions are your friend. They are. <laughs> Never apologize for your guidance system. Thank you. Yeah. I just saw my stepson here, one of my stepsons. Didn't know you were both here? No. Yeah. No idea. Yeah. Hi, Josh. <laughs> Thank you for letting me come up. Uh, that might have been why. Yes. <laughs> Abraham came to me last year and I was ready, uh, ready. And it has changed me amazingly. And I have allowed myself to be who I really am. Yes. Yeah. So I have the most amazing connection with source. Yes. I have happiness inside me that I can't even explain. Yes. Yeah. Words are cumbersome. Yes, very. Yeah. So what I'm asking for help with is my relationship with my husband and my other stepson. When I was starting to follow Abraham's teaching, I was already following Wayne Dyer since I have been 17 years old. Yeah. So all that has already been confirmed. Everything that I know, everything that I was born to do. I know I'm eternal. I know I'm connected to source. I am source. Go ahead. What do you think you don't know? I don't know how to relate to my disabled husband who is very dependent on me. He has been the object of my attention for 13 years. So what do you mean you don't know how to relate to him? Because we think you are relating. Yeah, I am relating. It's just I would like for him to feel safe when I want to be myself and do things that make me happy without him. But here's the thing. You can't control what his perception is. Right. And as you allow his perception to control your perception, then you're bound not by what he's thinking, but about what you're thinking about what he's thinking. Exactly. And we exactly. think that at least 50% of the time, you're wrong about what you think he's thinking. He will allow you more freedom. It's you who is not allowing the freedom. Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was extremely upset when I started listening to your YouTube videos. He was extremely upset with me. We had epic, passionate fights about it. Because? Almost to the point where I said, I'm going to leave. <laughs> because what? he thought you were brainwashing me. <laughs> And I'm like, there is absolutely... Well, tell him that we told you that 50% of the time he's right, and he'll feel a lot better about <laughs> us. So I stood up for myself, and I made reservations to come here because I just had to be here. It's just the most amazing thing ever. It's the most amazing confirmation of who I am and what I can do. And Maybe the most significant thing that we've ever heard anyone say is, I stood up for myself. I stood up for myself. And... The thing that we want you to hear, which will soften the resistance that you think you stood up against, the timing and the way this conversation dovetails with what we've been talking about before is perfect here because we want you to really feel this. So when you feel vulnerable, as your husband undoubtedly does, it feels like some relief to feel like you have someone on your side. So sometimes a person will give up a lot of their freedom and give up a lot of their desires in order to be there for that person who needs them in a strong way. Certainly what you've done and certainly what he at first thought he wanted you to do. Yes. But what he's discovered along the way, he knows this for sure, that when you let go of what you want, and you superimpose what someone else wants over it, that a little bit of your light goes out. That is so correct. In other words, it's only when you allow your true alignment with who you are. Now, it doesn't mean that your behavior has to change, and it may not change a lot, but the way you're looking at it will change. This is what we're leading up to here. 
So someone on my side, someone on my side, that's what your husband's wanting, someone on my side. And it's what you're wanting too. You're wanting more freedom and you're wanting more connection. You're wanting more sense of support. You're wanting more sense of value. And we were talking about how here you stand in your physicality and all that has ever come before is focused upon you. Your parents are aware of you. Their parents are aware of you. Their parents are aware of you. Teachers, mentors, Wayne Dyer is aware of you. I am so aware of them. You being aware of them is the thing that we want to call your attention to. Okay. Because as you can feel all of that interest, all of that loving interest, all of that loving interest and awareness, all of that rejuvenation, all of that renewal, all of that replenishment that's what being tuned in tapped in turned on is about that's what the receptive mode mostly is oh receptive mode is so delicious it feels so fantastic to have clarity but it is also the continual rejuvenation you see so if you don't allow yourself whatever it takes for that rejuvenation then you've got nothing to give any other and there are so many who think that what they want from you first and foremost is your sacrifice because in your sacrifice you are proclaiming your standing with them your love and appreciation of them but in sacrifice there is not replenishment and if there is not replenishment then there is a withering then there is a burning out and that's what you're describing to us more than it is what your husband is demanding of you it's not his mindset that needs to be changed here. It's your own mindset. And that's a wonderful thing because you can change your mindset while you cannot control his, you see. In a split second, I can. So as you say to yourself, I stood up for myself. I stood up for replenishment so that I have so much to give so many. I stood up for replenishment because without replenishment, I cannot serve without replenishment. I can't hold up without replenishment. I can be of no value to anyone. Sometimes people have accused us when they've not listened long enough to hear what we really have to say of selfishness. And we say, absolutely, we teach selfishness above all else because you first of all only have perspective of self. Oh, I've been accused of selfishness. And if you are not <laughs> selfish enough to align with who you are, then you don't have anything to give anyone anyway, you see. So next time you allow yourself, because you've practiced it and you've gotten good at it, to feel guilty yes. about doing something that is replenishing in nature for yourself, remind yourself what the stakes are. If you're not replenished, then what? If you are not renewed, then what, you see? And then start paying attention. And we think that what you will notice is that in the majority of cases, it is your thought about it that is taking you from your connection, not someone else's. Very well. Yeah. Enough? Thank you. Yes. Really good. Really good.